The Brownie Story Brooke and her cousin Cindy were on their way to visit Grandma Ella in the country. Grandma Ella lived with her dog Scooter, her turtle Leo, and her fish Goldilocks in a small brick house surrounded by thick woods. Brooke loved visiting Grandma Ella. In the fall, they collected leaves and dried them between the pages of heavy books. In the winter, they snowshoed and skated on the frozen pond. In the spring, they ate pancakes with maple syrup they bought from a farmer down the road. And in the summer, they swam in the pond and had picnics on the grass. Brooke loved to do all these things. But most of all, she loved to hear Grandma Ella's stories about brownies. Grandma Ella said brownies were little people who helped with chores when no one was watching. I wish a brownie would help me with my chores, said Brooke. So do I, said Cindy. Have you ever seen a brownie? Brooke asked Grandma Ella. No one ever sees brownies, said Grandma Ella. They lend a hand when no one is around, and they always know exactly when help is needed. Do you think there are any brownies in the woods behind your house? asked Brooke. Brownies could be anywhere, said Grandma Ella. The only one who knows where they are is the wise old owl who lives in the great pine tree near the pond. I've never seen an owl near the pine tree, said Cindy. Neither have I, said Brooke. People say she only appears when the moon is blue said Grandma Ella. The moon is never blue, laughed Brooke. Oh, sometimes it is, said Grandma Ella with a twinkle in her eye, but not very often. That night in bed, Brooke and Cindy talked about how much fun it would be to meet the wise old owl and learn more about brownies. If I met a brownie, said Cindy, I'd ask that brownie to clean up my room. That would make my mom very happy. If I met a brownie, said Brooke, I'd ask that brownie to dry the dishes, take out the garbage, and pull up the weeds. That would make my mom very happy. And you know what else, Cindy? But Cindy didn't answer. She was fast asleep. Brooke stretched. She was feeling sleepy herself. If only, she thought, yawning. If only I could meet the wise old Whoo! Whoo! I was waiting for you, said a voice. Cindy, said Brooke, peering around. But it wasn't Cindy. Cindy was gone. The bedroom was gone. Brooke was standing outside near the pond. Whoo! Whoo! I see you, said the voice. Brooke looked up. Yikes, she exclaimed when she saw an owl sitting on a branch of the pine tree. Are you the wise old owl? Brooke asked. Who, who? That is true. But you're supposed to only appear when the moon is blue, said Brooke. Who, who? The moon is blue, said the old owl. Brooke looked up at the sky. The moon was blue. It was as blue as a blueberry. Do you know where I can find a brownie? asked Brooke. I want to ask the brownie something important. Who, who, don't roam, look in Grandma's home, said the owl. I've never seen a brownie at my grandma's. Where is it hiding? asked Brooke. Who, who, a brownie is there. Now listen with care. This is the rule at the toadstool. Look in the pond. Don't use a wand. Turn around three times and finish what rhymes. What rhyme do I have to finish? asked Brooke. Twist me and turn me and show me an elf. I look in the water and see. Brooke ran to the toadstool behind the pond. She turned three times, repeated the rhyme, and looked in the pond. But all she could see was her own reflection. Brooke ran back to the owl. 
All I see is myself, she told the owl. Who, who, that is true. A brownie is you, said the owl. I'm a brownie, said Brooke. No, I'm not. Who, who, you are a brownie at heart. Now hurry and start. And with that, the owl flapped her wings and flew away. As soon as she did, the blue moon vanished. Brooke looked up. The sun peeked through the window. She was back in her room. She was back in bed. Cindy, she called. I can be a brownie. All I have to do is... You can be what? asked Cindy, rubbing her eyes. A brownie, and you can be one too, said Brooke. Then she told Cindy everything that had happened with the owl. Why don't we be brownies together? It might be fun, said Brooke. Why not, said Cindy. Wow, Grandma will be so surprised. So that day, Brooke and Cindy wiped all the dishes, weeded every bit of the garden, and took out the garbage without being asked. They even baked cookies and took them over to Grandma's friends at the senior center. Everyone was surprised and delighted especially Grandma. There is magic in this house, she said, smiling. Two wonderful brownies have somehow appeared to help me out just when I needed it. Do you think those brownies might like some warm apple pie with some vanilla ice cream? Yes, said Brooke and Cindy. They would. If you or someone you know wants to join brownies, we would love to have you join our unit. Please click subscribe or go to www.girlguides.ca. Thank you and enjoy.